So we're going to go ahead and be starting off round two with a best of three, of course. We've got Splat Zone's cat Snapper Canal in this one, Tower Control Hump Back Pump Track next up, and then if we make it past to the third game, we've got Rainmaker Gobi Arena. And as I mentioned before, Albacore employees, you've seen them before, up top, Mine and Breaks and Lala, and down at the bottom, we've got Era's End, I believe. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Aquamarine, Hex, and Launch. Team A, Team E. As long as the Albacore employees are set up, we can get moving. With round two. Again, you can keep on along with the brackets. I'm going to go ahead and post it on Twitch right there. And you can follow along as you please. Here we go. We saw them in the last match. Abacor employees. And then up next, a new contender, Era's End. Minin keeping that same gal. And we're going to see oh, the squeezer. On Era's End side, we're gonna see how they paint up the zone first. Purple, Era's End, Orange is going to be Albacore employees. So it goes to Albacore employees first. First off, they're gonna Aquamarine's gonna go down. Bricks is gonna with their trusty roller right there. <laughs> Bricks is gonna go ahead and get a double before going down. That that Kensa Dynamo roller treating him well. And they got a team of two Kensas it seems. If a uh, dual lead is good. Grab these over here. If Lala can grab a set of uh, Tensa, the Kensa Duelies themselves, we have a whole team of, of Duelies. Uh, a whole team of Kensa, sorry. So then we got 45 points going on for Albacore employees. They're just going to keep a really strong adva turf advantage over here. And you can see, it's pretty much going to belong all the, all the blue. Can Launch do anything? Can their team do anything? There's two Booyah bombs going off, and I don't know if they're going to be able to get out of the now the spawn here. The squeezer. Oh, launch. No. Oh, there goes launch. Off again. X tries to pop his special. It goes down. And as fast as we started, Albacore employees decides to take that one. So a good first point to them. A solid demonstration of what good inkage, good turf domination can do. We're going to move on to the second game. Tower control, humpback bump track. I'm definitely gonna see some different weapons here and set this up really quick. Ah, oh, where's humpback? There it is. Probably going to see some weapon change ups, maybe different variants of the kinds of weapons we see already. Um, f to adjust to tower control in the first place. Now with tower control, something useful is to have a, a stingray or a suction bomb available to to take, again, you know, control of the tower. <laughs> the suction bomb does a great job of just doing so much damage, I believe it's one shot, and then just explodes on the point, inks the entire thing, just makes it entirely, a push entirely inconvenient. You've got a stingray which also helps out, and just pretty much babies the entire tower and just makes it impossible to move and it's basically poison. The tower is now lava. So we get ourselves set together. tough Kirby level. Abacore employee is going to be on blue. Era's end going to be on green. I have to announce this as I'm not doing colorblind mode. I believe colorblind mode actually locks your colors in 
booyahs from both teams. I love this. They're, they're going to fly in there. Minin actually sticking around with their, with their gal. An interesting choice to use. I guess the wall used to be very strong and maybe might still be very strong for the tower. <laughs> Minin getting a double. <laughs> Going ahead get it, take advantage of the fact that uh, that it does just so much damage, but no no use of that of that sub or Booyah Bomb. I'd actually be curious to see that. Here we go. Another a good push still going on from Arizan. 80 points. They're going to actually go past the first checkpoint. Mm, they're going to push it along. Launch actually decided to go ahead with Umbrella. I believe it's a Kent's Umbrella. Is it? No, it's a different Umbrella. Either way, Launch has got the walking bomb and another set of bombs. So it's bomb, bombs away for this one. Lala going to stand on the point and keep, keep ahead, start the push. All three of them, Minin just going up ahead. Alala seems to be taking over the side to see what he can grab. While Brix just babies the tower a little bit because it's very hard to take over a tower once you've got a good roller on it. Ooh. But I don't know, Brix is taking a bunch of chip damage, is able to take off launch to continue this push. But they get flanked by Hex Ooh, over on the side. A Hex using a quicker a quicker roller. Lala seems to take off. Lala takes that off the green. And another one. And that's a wipe, actually. For Arizan. So if Lala can get on the tower, the Albacore employee is going to go ahead and keep continuing this push over to the second point. And it seems like this is one of the hardest parts to get through. As long as the Booyah Bomb for support, Lala going to stay on. Maybe if you can watch the left side. No, the umbrella was on the right. And a good call. Good defense. On Albacore's part, they're going to take that second point. No problem. There it is. So while Lala was standing on the point, you saw a lot of a lot of running around from Minin and Bricks. Bricks just kind of picking off whatever he can. I'm surprised Bricks wasn't on the tower more actually. But Lala had it unlocked. Well, it works. Whatever works works. We saw it happen. I saw it with my own eyes. You saw it with your own eyes. And that goes 2-0 for Albacore employees again, keeping them in a real strong lead. So GG's to them, and we can get around to setting up a round three. So just give me a second while I set up that next round. Well, everybody sets up that next round. It's not just me. There's a whole production. We're all doing stuff. It's great. <laughs> See you guys soon.